Hey guys, Rick here. Uh, it's been a while since one of our regularly scheduled 20-hour challenges. Uh, I've been on break from school and from vlogging, but we're back in school now, so we're going to continue vlogging. Uh, this isn't a video of a 20-hour challenge, uh, but it's going to be our first video of the new year. Um, and we're going to be looking back at some of the victories and defeats of the past few months of learning. I'm going to do some reflecting on our past experiences of learning um, and found some insights that will help shape how we learn and film in the future. The initial motivation for, for filming and documenting at all um, was one, to have fun, uh, two, to be exposed to a variety of different things, um, and three, to learn how to progress quickly uh, in an environment that may be unfamiliar or challenging. And I think we did a pretty good job at that. Uh, some things uh, in this category that we did were freelining, um, let's see, freestyle rapping, and maybe Photoshop even. These are things where I had close to no experience to, um, but it picked up a decent grasp over the time that we spent. In terms of thinking about reception of the videos, um, thank you guys so much for all your support and encouragement uh, throughout the, the many months of filming um, and learning. Um, I am by far not a great editor, and I use very low-budget equipment, so I count heavily on the content to be interesting. And this means uh, good recaps, good insights as I'm learning, cool shots, um, a lot of things to keep in mind as we're filming, actually. Uh, some things uh, that were really popular um, amongst you guys were freelining, dancing, um, and shooting free throws, actually. But things that I found particularly interesting, such as memorizing a deck of cards um, or cooking bomb tacos, actually. Uh, these weren't actually received all that well, and there's different reasons for that. It doesn't mean that we're going to stop doing all those things, um, but it probably means that we're going to have to think about how to portray um, our, our learning process in a in more interesting manner, actually. And with all that uh, and the new year, we're going to be making some changes to our video format. Uh, right now, all our videos are titled blank in 20 hours. Uh, 20 hours is not enough to master anything. Uh, we're not aiming to be a master, but um, by saying something in 20 hours, we're saying we're going to do it and we're done. Uh, but the goal is not just to be done with something um, and get it over with, but uh, to have an honest chance to try something out for an allotted period of time. And 20 hours is my uh, honest chance that I'm going to give. Uh, so from now on, we're going to be filming things uh, blank for 20 hours so we can see where we get uh, in terms of progress. And that most likely uh, will put it behind us, but you know, some things we're going to use from time to time, like freelining, we play the cone from time to time, shoot free throws. Um, so there are skills that we retain uh, throughout the different periods of time. We're also going to be trying to uh, involve more people in our videos. Um, so it's always interesting to see what different people bring to the table. So you can be looking forward to more of that. And then lastly, we're going to try to do uh, more physically involved um, activities. I think those are always fun to learn. I'm a little worried for my own ability, uh, but I'm excited to learn. And hopefully, uh, it's not a promise, but hopefully uh, before the end of the semester, we can do a 20-hour parkour video. So the following are some highlights from the past few months, the victories, the joys, the struggles. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy reminiscing with me, um, and I'll see you guys back next week. Later. Welcome, hello there, I'm Ricky and this is my first YouTube video. of the population 
who primarily speaks Spanish. And so that makes communication pretty hard actually. And so our goal for this week uh, is to be able to talk to one of those people that I serve. I just hold a conversation in Spanish, get to know them. train ourselves to rhyme words as uh, quickly as possible. Coach, reproach, pop, hop, join, uh, groin, sign. Even though I stretched out vertically a little bit, it feels the best out of uh, the four drawings that we've made so far okay, by themselves which is a nine of diamonds nine of diamonds and my friend is excited for lunch which is a jack of jack of spades eight of diamonds uh, and the queen of hearts uh, it's in the car uh, last two uh, this is five of spades and then that means this must be nine of hearts yes Pretty decent. Hey guys, we're technically at the end of our week. Pretty surprised at how well aesthetically this table turned out. 